Okay, so in this video, we're gonna talk about the loan modification program called the Flex Modification. And that applies to 95% of single family homeowners who have a loan that is owned by Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac, or otherwise known as a government-backed mortgage. If you do, then we'll walk you through the steps. It's pretty simple on whether or not, number one, you qualify or not, and then number two, who you contact to take next steps. The first step is to see if you have a government-backed loan. So you'll see a link in the video description below. You'll see that once you go to that link, all you simply do is put in your information and some info about your property. You hit Get Results, and it'll tell you if you have a Fannie Mae Freddie Mac loan. If you do, then you can contact your lender to see if you actually qualify for the loan modification and start having that discussion. So that's basically the first step in the process. Then it's just a matter of linking up with your lender. A lot of times they're gonna require some documents because they wanna see that you had a true hardship. They wanna know that you had some type of loss of income, whether that's because of a death in the family or uh, maybe a divorce situation, a natural disaster, uh, damage to your property that wasn't covered by insurance. They wanna see that there was some type of hardship that caused that and a lot of times they'll have you prove that. So be prepared to submit uh, bank statements, tax returns, uh, bills, fill out a financial statement a lot of times. Uh, that'll be required as well. But once you do all of that and you can prove that hardship, they'll see if you can qualify. Now, they'll test you first. So they'll give you like a 90 day, that's pretty typical, a 90 day period where they'll readjust your payments and then they'll say, okay, if you can make this payment for these next 90 days, then we'll execute the loan modification documents and make it formal. At that particular time, your loan will be in good standing. So you saved your property, you got your loan in good standing, you reduce your monthly payment on your mortgage, and you avoided the upfront cost of having to pay your total delinquency at that particular time. So the next question is, well, what's the best option for you? So a lot of homeowners find themselves in a situation where they do get presented a loan modification option, but if you have good credit and uh, the interest rates are lower than maybe what the rate is on your mortgage, or maybe you had an adjustable rate mortgage and you wanna do a potential fixed rate uh, transition, so from an adjustable rate to a fixed rate, then you might wanna consider a refinance. A lot of times there might be an option to do a repayment plan where you're not restructuring the whole loan with the lender on a loan modification and resetting the term oftentimes to another 30 or even 40 years, which by the way, makes the total cost of the loan a lot more. Maybe you just wanna do a repayment plan on the delinquency amount, resolve that issue by paying a little bit more uh, until that's resolved, and then not resetting your loan term because maybe you only have 10 years left on your loan or you're at the 20 year mark on a 30 year mortgage and you don't wanna reset that term all over again and add total cost to your loan. So the next video we're gonna talk about how do you calculate what the total cost is if you're more interested in total cost of the loan as opposed to maybe just monthly payment relief. So watch part three of this series next.